Today, regional commanders and officers in charge of police precincts from across the country converge at the Police Training Academy in Belmopan for the first ever national Comstat and anti-crime campaign launch. The meeting addressed criminal activities from a national rather than a regional perspective. It come about just after I've had a week of um, citizen security um, awareness in Santiago, Chile. I just came back on Saturday and um, they operate under a very similar system. A system that I certainly wanted to bring back and to see if we could have adopted what I have seen in Chile and um, use that here in Belize. This helps for us to analyze all the crime um, statistics that we have, um, for us to look at it, have all our um, best minds that we have in this business to, to come together in one room and for us to plan how we can use the information that we have had um, based on the um, process of analysis um, using the Comstat system and go out there and provide an even better, safer um, community for citizens and our people going forward. But is the department reinventing the wheel with the national Comstat exercise? Data is already being collected from various regions and compiled in an effort to create strategic plans to mitigate crime. So is a national forum a duplication of efforts? When you have, like, for example, JIC that collects the national statistics, it is not done in such a way as with the Comstat. We need to, as a department, to see how we are doing in different parts of the country. And uh, what this national Comstat does is that it gives us the ability to be able to see what is happening there, 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 and we can then put the commanders to task to ensure that in areas where we're seeing slippages, that they put mechanisms in place to be able to rectify whatever slippages we're seeing. And uh, it also gives us the opportunity to hold the commanders accountable. Because we cannot have commanders out there at such a senior rank, and we cannot hold them accountable. They must account for what happens within the area. The idea is that the National Forum, which will be held either monthly or quarterly, will assist to lower the number of major crimes such as murders, burglaries, and robberies across the country. This looks at the many initiatives currently in place and its effectiveness to tackle crime. Acting Commissioner of Police Chester Williams says that it also provides the department with a report card on the performances of senior officers. The regional commander then in the regional Comstat will be able to critique the performance of his precincts or formations and uh, see what can be done to be able to more effectively address the crime problem within the respective formation or, um, or precincts. Now with the national Comstat now is that it is now the regional commanders who will be doing the presentation and uh, the numbers are looked, are looked at in an aggregate um, fashion in the sense that I am not interested in seeing the performance of the precincts or the formations. I am more interested in seeing the performance of the regional commander. Another advantage to the national Comstat is that it gives all the regional commanders the opportunity to be able to see what is happening countrywide and uh, with that they will be able to develop strategies to deal primarily with transient criminals. As we know that that is one of the problems that we're having where criminals are moving from one area to the other. That aside, for the officers to carry out their duties effectively, there is the need for support from government. CEO George Lovell says that the ministry has already seen gaps that will be filled in order to realize the turnaround in the rate of crime. There is, in fact, um, it's not just we telling our police officers and men and women to go out there and now um, reduce the crime rate. We have to equally match um, that effort with the resources that are needed for them to provide us with the kind of uh, results that we are demanding from them. We can't just go there and make demands without meeting them halfway and giving them, giving them the kind of support that is needed for them to 
um, provide the goods. Dwayne Moody for News 5.